I am now creating weekly exclusive content for Patreon, so if you are interested in that, go check out the link down below. And of course, if you want to avoid the random lottery of FIFA points, you want to go straight to the source, buy the players directly, use u7buy.com and use the code TVM at checkout. What is going on guys, Sivim here, welcome back to the Norwich City career mode and as I said at the end of the last episode, or as I showed you, this is the first game, Newcastle United. From tomorrow, I will dabble in a few live games, but uh, I just wanted to get a little bit ahead of myself so that I can get them out every morning. That's the Newcastle side, they've managed to get Tammy Abraham, I believe he's on loan, but... Um, We've, uh, at the end of last episode, I showed you that we signed Billy Gilmore. Now, the reason for that was because, A, you know, I am half looking toward the future. I will try and do bare minimum two games. Well, not try. I will do a bare minimum of two games every episode. And I will maybe, depending on how difficult, or not how difficult, but how... I don't know how we're doing in the league. I may sim the odd game. You know, if we're looking like we're completely safe and there's absolutely no chance of us going down and there's no real chance of us getting anything up top, maybe we'll sim a couple of games just to get it through a little bit quicker, get into the second season. Because, uh, of course, this is going to run until FIFA 21. And then in FIFA 21, we'll start a save with someone else. So I'm taking suggestions for that if you're interested. We go a goal up against Newcastle early on. We press for the second, and I just couldn't get it in. I actually pressed shoot there. Nothing happened. The ball is cleared, and that is half time. They came back in the second half a little bit stronger, but they just didn't have an awful lot of bite. We were under a lot of pressure in terms of possession. Like, I didn't really have an awful lot of the ball in this game, unfortunately. A bit of a mistake there from me, and luckily... The defender managed to put the striker off enough. It actually went out for a corner. So he did really well there. Brilliant goalkeeping from Tim Kroll. And the defender gets it clear. We were lucky in a way not to concede. But they only had... That's, this is a great breakaway. Really should have scored from this. Ball down to Buendia. He cuts inside nicely. Gets ahead of his, uh, his marker. And he just lashes at the shot. Easy save for the keeper near post. Manager knows that was a golden opportunity. A three-way change. Uh, Billy Gilmore comes on for his first game. They've made a change and Bentaleb is going off. Hayden's coming on. I actually try and sign Hayden at the end of this episode. It doesn't really go too well and we give up on that idea. Uh, but I've I've decided that uh, that this team is nearly done. Billy Gilmore came in because, again, he's one for the future. And hopefully he can progress and do quite well. As you can see, we did not win that possession battle, but we did win the war and we won 1-0 so it's another three points to add to our previous three points when we beat Liverpool so that is six points in total for those who cannot math uh, or don't own an abacus uh, some more training going on there again I'm not going to do it personally I mean in, like I said in, in 21 I will in this I'm, I'm just going to get through it as quick as I can uh, we play Chelsea next tough game we are home it is on legendary uh, I will throw maybe some evidence of it being on legendary in, the, in there if you want uh, I'm not going to try and cheat you or cheat myself i'm not that type of person they've signed zahavi uh which is an interesting signing of course no timo Werner for them i did download later squad so i'm guessing in career mode he's not part of the chelsea team because rian brewster is part of swansea so uh i yeah don't really know when that happened in conjunction with like Werner and stuff so either way um bit of a, a cagey scrappy game at the beginning obviously chelsea holding a lot of the ball I myself, as uh, as as Norwich, trying to hold the ball as much as we possibly can. We are knocking it about quite well, actually. Our passing is very good. Cantwell goes down that left-hand side, cuts inside, does well, then just gets bundled over by Aspilicueta, and we do get a free kick. Unfortunately, the free kick comes to nothing. 18 minutes in, we're probing once more. Buendia into Puki. Great turn from Timo Puki. And something that um, I'm not happy with really is actually Timo Puki. He isn't mobile enough for me. He is very, very rigid. Doesn't really listen half the time. His positioning is okay, but it's not great. I'm not looking to sell him, but I am looking to get competition for him. The crowd actually cheered there uh, as if it went out of play. Williams somehow kept it in play. He then does me on the outside. Luckily, we managed to get a toe onto it. So Harvey can't quite turn. This is his debut, and uh, Krull makes a save down to his left. Moving in to the second half, 53 minutes in. Breakaway for Cantwell. Back into the middle for Duda. Plays it into Timo Puki. Lays it back off to Duda. Lovely ball roll, but it just creates an odd angle. He's off balance, and it goes wide. On comes Barco. 
Many in the comment section were wondering why I don't play him more often. Maybe move Cantwell into the centre and take Duda off. And that could very well be something that we do in the future. Because as soon as uh, Barco came on, he caused problems. That was until uh, the breakaway. And Zahavi gets his debut goal. The commentators are very happy for him because they hate me. And uh, there we go. But straight away from kickoff, we don't score. But Barco gets an opportunity down this left-hand side. Does his man really well. Drags it back across. And that should have been a goal. Duda clatters it against the bar. And unfortunately... We are currently losing with about 19 minutes left, but there is Barco. And I tell you what, he is going to be one for the future and also one for this club this season. He is going to help us stay in this league. We managed to scrape a point against one of the big six again. And I, like I said at the end of the last episode, as we move into some transfers now, um, I said at the end of the last episode that if it becomes too easy and we can pick up far too many points and without really going out and signing any big boys... And we're just sort of trundling along and we're in the top four or whatever for a considerable amount of time. I will look to adjust sliders. I haven't looked to see whether you can switch it up to ultimate difficulty. Uh, but I will look at that uh, in, the, in, in the next or ready for the next episode. And if we can, maybe I will. Because I don't really think... I mean, it wasn't an easy game that against Chelsea. And it wasn't an easy game against Newcastle. But for whatever reason, I just feel like the AI don't take their chances. Like, they don't really pull the trigger enough. So maybe I'll remove their... I don't know if you can, like, up their shooting frequency or something. But that I, maybe I'll just lower in the sliders. Maybe I'll just lower down their shot error. So when they do have shots, it's going to be more likely that they go in to make up for the lack of shots that they take. Because they, they get into some, some decent positions and they don't really pull the trigger. They look for another pass, which is a little bit silly. Uh, ultimate difficulty, I just feel like I won't be able to touch the ball. And it's not that I care about that necessarily. It just won't be that enjoyable to watch where the AI is literally holding the ball for 95% of the game. But we'll see what happens. We've signed a brand new player in um, Sangar or Sangare. I'm going to call him Sangar, Ibrahim Sangar. Um, he's got a very high potential. He's only 20 years of age, of course, which I think is, uh, is, is pretty decent. Um, I do have... Another striker, of course, in uh, Bas Basogog. Basogog? Basogog? I'm going to call him Basogog. So he, again, is quite young, but also in there, really, uh, for a little bit of competition for Timo Puki. He's also the pace option. He can play right side as well, just in case Buendia does come into the middle instead of Duda or whatever. But I like to have several players for several positions. So it's nice to have Basogog come in, knowing that he can play right side. He can play striker if he needs to. And of course, Puki has a little bit of competition, so he's now going to have to step his game up a little bit. But it was just that pace more than anything. Just needed that little extra up front, just in case. Doesn't have the best weak foot, not too too happy about that but he wasn't too expensive he has okay potential nothing too crazy uh, but now that we have Barco the Sogog and we introduce Sangar and Cyprian in the middle we have a very strong robust midfield with high potential defenders we could be looking at a very comfortable mid-table finish but we'll have to wait and see what happens I will look into those difficulty settings if you are enjoying this series so far and you want to see it continue do me a favor and hit that like button live games are coming in tomorrow's episode subscribe to the channel for new of course and until the next time goodbye football index the game changed download the app now